Alright, what's going on everybody? I want to get some better light. light. Now. Try it over here. Alright, so anyway, um quick introduction to uh to you guys for myself. My name is Paris Blaine and um I go under the handle L train. Um, and catch me skipping on L train seven seven three. But it's L train. Uh, nonetheless, that's my handle. Um, anyway, so I'm making this little video. A while ago, I started to make some videos but i never really went through with it but i figured you know what forget it man it's 2019 it's a whole new year i'm with a whole nother company so i'm gonna go ahead and try it see how it work out for me maybe i can you know enjoy it um well i'm here in Greenlee, colorado from Indianapolis, Indiana. I flew out here uh, earlier this morning. Um, and today is Saturday, but Saturday the 19th. Orientation does start until Monday, but as some of y'all might know, there's a pretty big, you know, pretty decent sized snowstorm coming through uh, the Midwest. So they end up flying me out a little bit earlier, which was probably the best thing to do anyways, because everybody's flight was either being canceled or delayed due to weather. Let's see if I can fit it. Still, that's good enough. Anyway, but yeah, everybody's flight was being canceled or delayed due to weather and uh, different changing conditions and weather and stuff like that. Um, so they flew me out here to Colorado today. Uh, I got all day tomorrow. So I probably won't be making a video for Sunday the 20th, but I definitely did want to make this video um, just to, you know, kind of, um, I don't know, I see videos of everybody, you know, for different companies. I haven't seen one for JBS just yet, so I figured I go ahead do a JBS carriers video, a uh, couple of them for you guys, and this will be kind of my introduction to it. And next couple of videos that I'll be posting up will be orientation. Orientation will be four and a half days. Is that's what they said at least. Um, I'll be running a Green Bay, Wisconsin dedicated, and that's pretty much dealing with Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, uh, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. And I'll be home. I have the option to be home every week, but I think I'm going to run every two to three weeks out. Uh, if I run every two to three weeks, as long as I'm running seven consecutive days for those seven days I'm out, I'll be making 1680 a week, which ain't bad. And I'm always coming home, you know, coming through Indianapolis anyway. I'm dead in the center of it between, you got Wisconsin... Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania. So I'm going in the L shape anyway. And you know, I'm going in the L. I'm always going to be through home, so it's not a big deal to me. Um, but yeah, anyway. So um, this is me, man. I've got a little bit of history with truck driving. Also with bus driving, too, and uh, public transportation. Uh, for the cities of both Indianapolis and the city of Phoenix. Um, I drove trucks. I got my break with Celadon. That's where I started off. I went through the class, um, got my license through them. Um, after that, I went to Indigo. Um, after Indigo, I believe I left Indigo, went to Western Express. From Western Express, I went to First Transit um, for Valley Metro in Phoenix. 
Um, after that, I went to Swift. From Swift, I ended up going back to Indigo. From Indigo again, I ended up doing K and B Transportation. Some of y'all might know him as Western Livestock. And uh, from there, I started to do trash collection for Republic Service out of Indianapolis, but it really wasn't for me. And I end up coming here to uh, JBS Carriers. Uh, my cousin told me about this company. It's something that he wanted to um, do himself, but uh, other plans worked out for him, so he didn't end up doing it. But I was definitely looking to possibly getting back into a truck anyway. Something that'll last me long enough so I can eventually move out, move back out to Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, Cause Indianapolis is, is not is not where I want to live the rest of my life at. Um, but yeah, so that's a little bit of introduction for myself. Um, I guess I go ahead and get into uh, everything else. So um, my recruiter Michelle, I get all of her information. And now put it down in one of my other videos and stuff for you. If you guys decide you might be interested in JBS carriers, uh, my recruiter Michelle was definitely on top of her job. She was on point with everything as far as making sure I was set. I had all the information I knew. I was comfortable. She kept up constant and uh, regular uh, communication with me and stuff like that which is very appreciative and makes you feel like somebody actually wants you. And she didn't hit me with one of those militarized, scripted, you know, pitches, you know. Come to us and we got this and we can do this and we'll do that and we can help you do this and, you know. That's not what I really look for. Um, as far as driving trucks goes for me, after I worked for KMB or Western Livestock, one in the same company. Um, after I worked for them, I was getting paid. I was with while I was with them. I should say I was getting paid on a daily basis. I was making twelve fifty before taxes. Um, after that, for me, anyways, I could say I don't know about anybody else's experience and how they get paid. But doing that, that kind of spoiled me to the point where now in my head I have it mind. I have my head and my mind made up to where I don't want to drive for a company if it's just some petty basic as cents per mile pay. Reason number one is because a lot of companies will skip out on your miles. They'll say the work is there. They'll say you get plenty of miles. They'll say our top drivers have driven this many miles and that many miles. And it might be true. They top drivers might have driven, you know, a whole lot of miles to get the pay that they get but everybody's pay is going to be different especially when you come in on the entry level to a job you might have somebody that's been there for years and didn't care how the system fucked him over he just knew he needed to make that dollar she just knew she needed to make that dollar and did what she had to do to work her way up the pay grade and that's cool I'm not knocking that that's not for me you might have uh, somebody just coming in like me myself i will come into a company i'll be at the very bottom just like everybody else started especially if you go into some companies who pay based on experience that shit sucks i have enough experience to where i'm good when it comes to being paid by experience but it still sucks when you don't have any experience and you're coming in and you are literally at the bottom of the food chain it's not for me so um Anyway, needless to say, being paid by a daily basis versus per mile, cents per mile, is a huge spoil for me, and I love it, I love it, I, I love it. That's my standard when I look at these truck driving companies and stuff like that. And I don't mind doing over-the-world work. I don't mind, you know, a lot of the uh, daily pays are going to be local, anywhere from local to dedicated runs. I don't mind doing anything 
out of what I'm already doing. You know, they got me Midwest and Northeast. That's fine. I don't mind going a little bit south for stuff like that. As long as that pay is right, as long as I'm hitting that daily pay, you available on time, your lows are on time. I mean, you available every day, your lows are on time. That's me. I get your low where it needs to be at. It don't matter how. I will get it there. Pay me like I need to be paid and now drop off and pick up your lows like they need to be delivered and picked up. It's just that simple with me. Um, and so, anyway, kind of to backtrack, my recruiter, she was pretty much telling me everything that I needed and wanted to hear versus, you know, stuff that they thought I would want to hear. And so that was, that's what really kind of stuck out to me when I was, um, you know, considering this company as a, uh, option in my life choices. Um, so she worked with me, uh, because while I talked to them, I filled out this application for JBS carriers, filled out their application before I filled out the application for, um, uh, uh, Republic Services uh, for the trash collection in Indianapolis um, but Republic Services got back to me because my recruiter was out sick I believe and it was just at the end of 2018 beginning of the new year so you know a lot of people was off anyways but long story short Republic Services got to me first I tried that out I told my uh, recruiter, I told Michelle, I said, hey, you know, I'm already employed somewhere. I'm going to go ahead and give them uh, some time to see exactly how it's going to play out. And I told her I'm not counting, you know, JBS out as a loss. But if that's what works for me, obviously I'm not trying to be bouncing around. You know, like I already did a lot of that a lot of it since I got my CDL and it's not pretty on the resume to be bouncing around and trust me I don't want to bounce around nobody wants to bounce around but that's just how uh, that's, that's, that's how it is in the trucking industry sometimes for some people you know so um, but I'm hoping right there right here where I am now JBS will, I'm hoping that they will definitely take care of me Hold on real quick, y'all. I'm going to keep on talking, but, um, yeah, so I'm hoping that they'll really, you know, mess with me, take care of me, and in return, I'm definitely going to take care of them back, you know, but, um, so here I am. They put me up here in the comfort, uh, the comfort in. Greenlee, uh, Greenlee, Colorado. Uh, they flew me out. What was it? United Airlines. I was on a United United Express jet, and um, it's a, a C. I think what is it? CJR or CRJ or something like that. Yeah, CRJ seven hundred. And uh, if you're not familiar with airplanes. That is a tiny ass plane. That's almost like a private jet, kind of beefed up a little bit. It's it's a longer private jet, if I could say that. Um, you got some people. A lot of companies won't fly you out at all. The only company I've ever had to fly me out was uh, K and B Transportation, and they flew me out to Omaha, Nebraska. Southwest Airlines, and uh, that was a big jet. That was a, a Boeing 737-400 or 300 or 800, something like that. But it was a pretty big jet, and um, that was that's what I was used to flying on those big things. So when they, for one, told me that I would be flying, I prepared myself to be on Southwest Airlines. I love Southwest. If I ever have to travel anywhere, at least domestically, if they can get me there, hell, even if I got to travel abroad, if they can get me there, then they can get me there. And I'm going to let them get me there because I love and trust Southwest Airlines. They pretty decent. Um, you know, 
with the uh, baggage deal they got set up the first two fly free um and of course your carry on set up and stuff like that also you don't have any assigned seats you get there if you're flying with somebody as long as y'all right behind another y'all can get your seat a lot of people are willing to even trade seats if they see you together with somebody um but with united it's a different story i know they got some pretty big jets too but I've never flown on one of the regional jets. That's what it's called. Canada Air Regional Jet. CRJ. So, Canada Air Regional Jet. Um, 700. It's the model number, I guess, whatever. But, um, that's a small jet. Those seats, when you first walk in, you got one, you got, you know, your column with one seat to your right. And then the two seats to your left, and you got that for maybe three or four rows, and you know that's like economy, uh, economy plus and business class and stuff like that, and that's all cool. I'm not about to spend a whole bunch of extra money on a small ass jet business class for nothing. It, it just don't matter. You already in a small cramped jet. You put in another fifty, fifty to a hundred dollars up just to upgrade a seat. It don't make no sense to me. Um, it's not first class But um, I didn't pay for the ticket So I can't really complain there But um, The jet was It was cool It was a smooth ride The um, the flight attendants were cool You know I can't really complain uh, If you've flown before You know how flying can get a little bit crazy With kids and stuff like that It was a smooth ride for me I can't complain at all I've actually flown with my daughter before and uh, she wasn't crazy badass. She wasn't like none of these little badass kids. You know, you get up on the airplanes and stuff like that, uh, where the parents just let the kids say do or you know whatever the hell they think they want to or screaming and crying and stuff like that. She won. My daughter wasn't like that. Thank God, because I'd been embarrassed as hell. But I don't see how some of these parents aren't embarrassed as fuck the way their kids act up. But I didn't have that problem on this jet, so, you know, the flight out here was pretty cool. It was a two and a half, roughly estimated two and a half hour flight. Um, they got me out right before the snowstorm hit Indiana. In fact, when I touched down, um, my little shorty hit me up, and uh, she was telling me how it was snowing and stuff like that already out there. So I'm like, yeah, I just made it, which was cool because my flight was probably the only one that wasn't canceled or delayed out of Indianapolis, so. Um, what else I get there downside to it is I had to wait two hours for the shuttle to actually come pick me up uh, Denver local time was 4.30 when uh, the guy pulled up it was around 4.30 a little bit after um, but I mean I found something to do, you know, I walked around a little bit and chilled, got a little small little nap in while I was sitting down, and um, charged up my phone and stuff like that, got to the hotel, they pick you up in a little passenger van, JBS carriage, logos and decals all over and stuff like that, and uh, it was supposed to be four guys, the guy said he was supposed to pick up, two of them, planes had got, their flights had been delayed and canceled, already it was another guy that was supposed to arrive around the same time as me only he would be flying in from chicago and uh his flight was delayed in chicago so he was flying out from new york transferring chicago and when he got to chicago he was already delayed flying out of new york when he got to chicago his flight was delayed again because of the weather of course um but none of that shit matter anyway I'm talking about me Um, hold on, something not right. But anyway, so, you know, come pick me up. Of course, I have to wait two hours, but hey, whatever. I'm not really tripping off of that. Um, brought me here to the Comfort Inn up in Greenville. It was about an hour trip. Um, we stopped at a love zone on the way just to use the bathroom and stuff like that. But it's our trip north of... Denver, 
wanting a little bad ride. Caught a little nap there too. So um now I'm just here. I'm sitting here. Um I'm supposed to have a roommate. I'm almost certain it was the guy that was flying in from New York to Chicago, from Chicago here. I'm almost sure he was the one that was supposed to be my roommate, considering the fact that we both were supposed to be the one in the van together. But I don't have a roommate just yet. So it's just me. I'm comfortable right now. And I don't know. I, I can't remember the last time I had a roommate when I was in the trucking company at any of the hotels and stuff like that. So, you know. Um, so right now I'm just chilling in these comfortable bed sheets and blankets and pillows and watching Rick and Morty and uh, just chilling out right now. Um, but this is only gonna be the first video. I'll definitely be. I'll definitely be making some more videos, and. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, I'll put, try and put in my email address and stuff like that in the description. I, you know, whatever I can. I I'm new to this whole YouTube thing, but I'll definitely try and make it a way for you guys to try and contact me if you have any further questions. Um, all right, so this video the title JBS Carrier Part 1 um blase blase I don't know it might not even be that so alright deuces